Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and welcome to my Daz Studio tutorial series. Now, I want to have an update in this short video on my last tutorial about turning non deforce hair into deforce enabled. And we went through the whole process, and towards the end of the video, I told you that one of the problems when we converted this non deforce hair into deforce enabled is that there's no collision. So when you look at your parameters tab with your hair, you don't have a collision. So when you run a simulation, the hair will go through our character's body. Now, a big shout out to one of my viewers, Mark Cunningham, who suggested that we use a smoothing modifier. And I got to tell you, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but uh, all week when I was playing with this to make the tutorial, I was not thinking about this process and it makes a world of difference. So let me show you what you need to do here. So once you have everything set up from my previous video, you're going to need to uh, find your hair and select it. So we've got this Linda ponytail and go up to edit object uh, geometry and then go we're here where it says add smoothing modifier and when you click on that once you have your hair you're going to see this where it says mesh smoothing and now we have a collision so the mesh smoothing is going to allow you to set up your collision to our character Milica. And once we have that, now we can pose and we should have the hair falling on to her instead of through her. So to test this, I'm going to take her ponytail and we're going to lift it up just so we can get a good view of this. Now I am going to leave it at current frame. If you want to set it up where you remember you can do your timeline, that's totally cool. I find the timeline kind of annoying. so. Whenever I can, I just use the current frame. We're going to uh, put the gravity at 1. I had the gravity at 3, trying to get it to fall faster. And I was doing a lot of different uh, tests last week, trying to get the hair to, to fall the way I wanted to. But I never thought about the mesh smoother. And this should work. So let's run a simulation. Okay, so the simulation's done. And if I move her around, you can see it absolutely worked. The mesh smoothing allowed our hair to lay upon our girl instead of through it. Now, I have noticed one of the problems with hair and mesh smoothing, and this is really why I didn't even think about trying to collide it with the mesh smoother, is that sometimes, depending on your hair, uh, adding a lot of smoothing will make, for some reason, the hair immobilize our character. So 
you go to try and move your character and it's like a Daz Studio glitch or something, but you go to move your character and the character will hardly move at all. And that can be an issue. Okay, so there is a little hack for you. Uh, thanks again to Mark Cunningham for letting me know about this and making me rethink the uh, smoother on the hair. I appreciate that. As you can see, this uh, really did help a lot. The mesh smoother really enhanced our simulation. The girl's hair looks a lot more natural now. Uh, and I appreciate the suggestion. And, uh, you know, Daz Studio is one of those things. I've been working with it for, gosh, about 18 years now. And there's always something to learn. And so uh, I didn't even think about that mesh smoother to get the collision correct, but it is working. So a big shout out to Mark and uh, thank you. I hope this uh, makes your Daz Studio a little bit better. And please hit that like button, subscribe, and give me a few comments. I'd like to know what you'd like to see and how we can improve our Daz Studio experience. So until next time, take care, and I'll see you later.